do appreciate the honor and respect they show to the flag. Garth is gathering up his 170 square foot parachute. Well, 4,000, well, with 4,000 however many jumps, he get gets to add one more to that. We see That is Jared Floor, his inaugural performance here at Watsonville. Now Jared is flying an extra 300L, very similar to Vicky's aircraft that you see taxing in front of you with the Festo on the tail. Give Vicky a big wave out there. Jared's aircraft is slightly different. The wing is mounted on the aircraft a little bit lower. And Jared's aircraft, hey, it's always fun to go fly with somebody, so Jared's got himself a two-seater. You can actually go fly with Jared if you wanted to. He does give instruction in that aircraft. Now, Jared climbs up and sets up his aircraft for energy to start his performance. Jared's dreamed of flying air show since his first show at age three in Midland, Texas. And folks, if you know Midland, Texas, you know that's the home of the commemorative Air Force, and we've got a lot of those warbirds on the field today. The goal of the commemorative Air Force is to keep them flying. And of course, if, as a three-year-old, he was at that CAF show in Maryland, or in, uh, in Midland, Texas, and the bug bit him at the age of three. He was able to get his first flight at the age of six, Thanks to the Young Eagles program sponsored by EAA. Of course, there is an EAA or Experimental Aircraft Association chapter right here in Watsonville, and they provide Young Eagles flights too. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Well, anyways, Jared got his flight with the Young Eagles in a Cessna 310. You'll see a few Cessna, a few Cessna aircraft out on the ramp as Jared sets out there checking out the beautiful, the beautiful skies, the beautiful. Smoke is on. Watch him dive in from 3,000 feet as he accelerates the aircraft over 250 miles an hour. He pulled a horizontal wing over 1,800 pounds. His body does, taking the energy he can take into aileron rolls all the way up. Watch as he gets to the top there. He's going to bring the stick back, bring it into a flat spin. Let's count the spins. There's one. There's two. He's down to 1,500 feet. He's into the recovery mode, spinning on down to recover out towards the south side. Now, in good Texas fashion, especially being from Central Texas, he started out as a roughneck in the oil fields, and when he cleaned up at the end of the day, he would take a second job as a waiter to raise money to start his flying career. CFI and a CFII, a flight instructor with over 4,000 hours. He's got many aircraft in his logbook. Everything from Aronka L3s to the DC-4 to Twin Otters and even Learjets. And Jared is a newbie skydiver. He said, hey, I like flying them, but let me try this jumping thing. And he's got 11 jumps out of a Twin Otter. He said he enjoys that portion of the aviation too. Let's see if he brings the aircraft right back towards show center at 200 miles an hour. Into the vertical for a spiraling tower. Getting the aircraft off of its axis as the aircraft starts to appear to go out of control. Watch as he brings the stick back, chops the engine, and brings it right back on down. On to the show line. Jared instructed for the United States Air Force's initial flight screening program in San Antonio, Texas. And recently, he achieved his lifelong dream of becoming an air show pilot this past May when he received his 500-foot air show altitude waiver from the legendary Wayne Hanley, also from here in the local area. Of course, Wayne Hanley, a friend and mentor to almost every one of the air show pilots here today. into the classic beautiful barrel roll. Most of the maneuvers you're going to see, all these performers performing today, are formed out of rolls, loops, and barrel rolls. But they add a new twist to every single one of them. Now watch as he takes it up, wagging that tail, waving everybody with a negative G pushover on the top. Accelerating on the downline, we're going to see him set up for the slow roll. 
folks, you look at that maneuver, you say, that looks pretty easy. That is probably one of its most difficult maneuvers to make that aircraft stay level flight while the changing dynamics of the wing, the side loads on the aircraft, truly a well-performed maneuver today by Jared Floor, 25 years old from Stanton, Texas. You thought with that biography I was reading, you thought he would be much older than that. Yes, just 25 years old. Now he takes it into a classic loop. But we're gonna see a little change here right at the top. He's gonna bring the stick full aft, hit the rudder, and snap that aircraft one turn around. Carving right back out to finish the Barnstormer loop with a snap roll on the top, a maneuver they call the Avalanche. Now to reverse himself back up into the area, we're gonna see him take it into the 45, and he reverses back onto her back 45 for the shark's tooth. One of my very favorite maneuvers coming up here. He's gonna take the aircraft up. He's got aerodynamics flying the aircraft, but how do you fly an aircraft backwards? We're gonna see if he can make that happen here. The smoke comes off. Now he's got to be working the flight controls. Watch the tail. You'll see him working it very, 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 very quickly. The aircraft flies backwards, and at the low altitude, he reverses them right back on out, snaps the stick, and recovers back to the wings level flight. Now, a maneuver that they call the Lomshavok. Watch him right here. It looks like the plane is out of control. Lomshavok being a Hungarian word for hangover. And they say that's the way you feel after you do a few, a few of these Lomshavoks when you spin around in that cockpit. Now, we go back to World War I. He, did, he figured out that with enough speed, if he was in a situation where he did not want to get shot, he wanted to part, he would do this maneuver, the first half of a loop, and rather than pull through, he would simply hit the top, roll out, and depart the other direction. And then the maneuver became known as the Immelman. Jared Floor, he is now an instructor at Advantage Aviation just down the street in Palo Alto, California. Jared can teach you to fly in Centabrius, as well as a Super Decathlon. And as I mentioned earlier, he also instructs at Reed Hillview in this extra 300L that he is flying today. Jared's currently looking for a sponsorship and he would like to inspire many to enjoy everything that aviation has to offer, just as his mentor has inspired him. And look at him torque roll the aircraft all 300 horsepower cranking that aircraft around ladies and gentlemen how about a round of applause for jared floor from the lone star state out there I see the cameras up in the air a little bit about Jared's Jared's extra 300 L it's called the extra just like the pits is named after Curtis Pitts well the extra is named after a German by the name of Walter extra he's a German aerobatic performer and a champion back in the 70s and early 80s and he said hey I can I can make a better aircraft and he was also he took his engineering design expertise Take a look as Jared brings it up and showing you the belly of the aircraft as he slips it across there with a fixed gear. The incoming engine built into the nose. Watch Jared as he comes back to a 45 right with his show complete. The smoke is off. He's cranking his head back over his shoulder, picking up runway 20 as he's going to bring it back in for what I'm guessing is another wheel landing. Now the aircraft, look at Jared, he's really stomping on that right rudder, lower the left wing to keep that runway in sight. And you know, watch as he kicks it out right about there. He's gonna kick it out and land it on the runway. You'll see as that tailwheel comes down, that cowling in front of him, he's in the back seat. That cowling in front of him is gonna be a little bit in the way.
Ladies and gentlemen, not only in his first year at Watsonville, this weekend, ladies and gentlemen, was his very first air show ever. How about a big round of applause for that shout, for that Texan, Jared Floor, all the way up here from the great state of Texas, representing well. He's out here in California now as a flight instructor, and what a great place to start his air show career at the age of 25 years old.